Three tools are required to assemble the HandyForm system. A straight claw carpenter's hammer, an EFCO drift pin, and EFCO pin and plate clamp tool. The tool's use and value will soon become very obvious. Erection of the HandyForm system can be achieved in a few simple steps. Step 1. After the wall lines are established, install a level wooden base plate on the footing. A base plate is important when setting panels on a concrete footing or slab, and even more important when setting forms on the ground without a footing or between the footings on open ground. Step 2. The erection of panels can start on either the inside or outside face of a wall to be formed, but should always begin at a corner. Attach the inside or outside corner panel to the first handy form panel to be set. Then add an adjacent panel to complete the corner. Be sure that the handle on the 600 by 1200 panel is located at the lower half or towards the bottom of the setup as shown. Secure the panels with EFCO plate clamps. The EFCO drift pin is designed for aligning the holes in adjacent panel flanges. This will make it easier to align flange holes to place the plate clamps. Proper placement of plate clamps is essential. When placing the first clamp, insert the pin portion of the clamp through the second hole from the top of the flange. The jaws of the clamp will cover the third hole. Next, place the pin of the second clamp through the eleventh hole from the bottom flange. You will notice that the jaws will cover the tenth hole from the bottom. One end of the pin and plate clamp tool is used to assist in the placing of plate clamps when necessary. The other end of this tool is used for placing and removing spreader tie pins. The second clamp placement will ensure more than enough clearance to insert the plate clamp tool for removal of the clamps when you cycle the formwork. Please note that the placement of the second clamp into the 11th hole from the bottom is only required on the first row of panels set to provide ground clearance. Clamps placed on panels set for additional wall height will be inserted into the fourth hole from the bottom flange, with the jaws covering the third hole. Outside corners will require three clamps as shown. Step 3. Check bottom alignment of forms with the base plate in both directions. Adjust if necessary and nail the form panel to the base plate. Step 4. Continue placing and clamping additional form panels to the side of the wall being formed first and secure each panel to the base plate. Caution. Secure the form setup with temporary bracing to keep it from tipping over. Failure could cause personal injuries. Step 5. Place required reinforcing steel. Step 6. Determine the spreader tie slot that will be used. Insert the tie and pin with the EFCO standard pin, locking the handle of the pin. It is important to note spreader ties are only required on one side of an EFCO flange joint. Step 7. Once you have established and set the first side of the wall, you can start erecting the second side. Place the first form to be erected directly opposite the opposing panel closest to the corner. This positioning is important to ensure proper alignment of spreader ties. EFCO provides various sized take-up panels to accommodate the corner. Insert the tie and pin. Then clamp the panel and nail to the base plate. Continue adding form panels and connecting spreader ties with the tie pin as indicated by your form erection drawings.